So today we are here to uh, launch a collaboration that has been ongoing for the last couple of years. Today is the kickoff of uh, Thomas and Friends on Nick Jr. Uh, this is uh, the result of uh, two years of work, Mattel and Thomas and Friends with the United Nations uh, in the Department of Public Information, but as well, we've involved UN Women, UN Environment Program, UNDP, EFAD, uh, and several others, UN Environment Program, and several other UN organizations on incorporating elements from the Sustainable Development Goals agenda into nine of the 26 episodes of the new season of Thomas and Friends. So some might ask, what connects the United Nations and uh, preschool program for children. I would argue that, of course, everything that happens in, the mil in this building, agreements by member states, resolutions, uh, reports, and declarations, matter for every person on the planet. And the most important agreement and road, pa uh, pa road map that has been agreed in this building recently is, of course, the Agenda 2030. 17 Sustainable Development Goals approved by, adopted by world leaders in 2015. It's Pamela Falk from CBS News. Um, I, it's all very interesting. I wanted to ask uh, Richard Dixon, um, what other plans does Mattel have um, for the SDGs to inspire in other projects that you do um, for children? In other words, this is one collaboration. Are you using these global goals? And to, if that's all right. And then to Tulu, um, in terms of gender equality, my understanding from reading your materials is that it's now three boy characters, engines, and three girl characters, and Thomas. Um, what? How does that send the message to kids? Um, that uh, girl engines can do the same as boy engines. Thank you. Sure, so I'll, I'll take uh, the first part. Um, at Mattel, you know, as I mentioned, we're, we're going to be 75 years old in, in 2020. Uh, many of our brands have a rich heritage uh, unlocking the imaginations of kids to inspire them to believe and imagine that they could be anything they want to be. Um, we have worked hard recently on many of our core brands, Fisher Price, Barbie, American Girl, to re-engineer these brands that have legacy to be more relevant in today's uh, kids' mindset and also to create purposeful play values for moms and dads to believe in these brands and the proposition that these brands represent. We believe this partnership is a great example of one aspect with one of our brands, infusing the right type of curriculum. You what? Infusing the right type of curriculum to create the next generation of creative thinkers and ultimately the next generation that we all need to provide the right curriculum for, the right curriculum for, the right curriculum for, the right curriculum for, stimulate their imaginations to believe that anything is possible but ultimately infuse the values and benefits that certainly the sustainable goals represent um, that we believe is, is the right type of content for our brands. As we move forward, both with our partnership and other partnerships that represent purposeful play messaging, uh, you'll hear a lot more about Mattel's portfolio and the advancements that we're making around the value of play and how we can complement many of the sustainable goals appropriately by brand. What? The other piece, which of course I'll, I'll, uh, I'll turn the floor over, but I think it's a really exciting and uh, important portrayal of equality uh, in the Thomas portfolio as you'll see through the content, the equality and the balance uh, of both boys and girl characters coming together to achieve missions and engage in great storytelling that promotes and presents um, great girl empowerment and equality amongst the characters.